Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome or hopefully welcome back. Today is Saturday, June 15th and it's very late at night. It's currently 10.42 p.m. If you caught my live earlier, which was so fun and thank you so much to all the people who came and all the people who are taking the time to watch it afterwards. I really appreciate you guys. That was so much fun. I was really nervous and scared to do it but when you guys started talking to me it really made it fun and I'm excited to do more in the future so if you caught that live I showed you guys my OPK progression so far and I was really really close to my peak and I just have the cheapy pregnant off of Amazon so I figured you know what you're like so close you got your peak late at night on cycle day 13 last cycle just take another one and I did and I got my positive so I'll show you guys my progression let's see try and get it in there so as you can see on the side I started on cycle day 10 and then from there, since my cycle day 11 was kind of dark, I started doing two a day. So cycle day 11 in the morning, cycle day 11 in the afternoon, so on and so forth. And then this morning, when it was wet, it looked much closer. And then this is just recently. Look how beautiful and gorgeous. She's stunning. That's a positive. That's like, remember last cycle how even though like it was pretty dark on cycle day 13, I didn't think it was positive, but then I got my sol solid smiley face. Like when I look at this, like this is positive and that makes me so happy. And I don't know if it has to do with the pink stork tea, but I mean that's two for two cycles now where I'm getting a decent ovulation and to where my luteal phase will be long enough to give an embryo a chance. And so I can't obviously say for sure that it's the fertility tea, but it's two for two. So I'll take it. And then on top of that, I've been taking their fertility sweets and their fertility supplements. So hopefully, I mean, I feel better. So, I mean, like, even if it it doesn't help me conceive, at least it is making me feel better and it's making my cycles extremely regular. This is cycle day 13, so I'm going to hopefully ovulate tomorrow, Father's Day, cycle day 14, and then hopefully giving me a 13 to 14 day luteal phase, which is perfect. So, I have nothing to complain about right now. I'm incredibly happy. And it would be so funny if Marty finally got his daddy's girl and she was conceived like on Father's Day. Am I the only person who like thinks that's funny? I don't know. I have a weird sense of humor. Sorry for the dark background. That is our bedroom. Our like vanity is open to our bedroom and then we've got like a private closet with our shower and our toilet. I feel like this is like a typical scary movie. Like, I'm just, like, looking in the viewfinder, like, waiting for something to come. And when my cat, like, walks by, it scares me. <laughs> I digress. So, for the past, two, ever since I started OPKs, I've been trying. We've been getting my solid smiley face together. So, I want to keep up with that tradition now. So, since I got my positive cheapy OPK, I want to do the digital um, this cycle, I'm not using clear blue digitals. My friend D, who is so kind and such a beautiful person, had a brand new kit that she does not need from, it's the Target Up and Up brand. So brand new kit, unopened, and since she doesn't need it anymore, she was kind enough to send it to me. So thank you again, D. That was so incredibly kind. And we all know how expensive TTC is. So when you get supported like that, it just, thank you. That's all I got to say. So it's the Target Up and Up brand. It is no different. 
so far from the clear blue um, digitals, the pink one, not the advanced. So see, it has like a red button. I'm not sure if the Target Up and Up brand has their own advanced version, but I don't want to go down that road ever. I'm perfectly fine with the yes or the no. The cheapy OPKs let me know when my fertile window is. I don't want to deal with a flashing smiley. I can see on my cheapy OPKs that this is my window here. And that's good enough for me. I feel like the flashing smileys would stress me out. I'm going to open it. I'll show it to you. They look no different. I have one left of the clear blue digital with my handle that I used for two cycles. So I'm wondering if I should just like do an experiment and see. Let me see if I have one of my ones from last cycle. Okay, yeah, let me line them up for you. Okay, so see if it will focus. The only thing that's different is that the cap is pink and the arrow is pink and shaped differently. That is it. They are exactly the same in every single way, even down, they're made in the same factory, you can tell. There's absolutely nothing different about them. So trying to save you guys a little bit of money because hopefully, I mean, I have a positive OPK, so let's see, I started using the digital on cycle day 10 along with my cheapies. I did one on cycle day 10, one on cycle day 11. Then when they got darker on cycle day 12, I did two and then I did a uh, cycle day 13 earlier, which you're not supposed to look at the blue line. Let's see, it's exactly the same. Stick it in so that the arrows are facing each other pop off the cap and dip it for 15 seconds. And there we go. Stick. Ooh, that one's a little bent. I hope that that's okay. Sure it is. Let's just make sure it starts flashing. That's all that matters, right? Okay. So, same exact thing. It has a little digital thing of the test flashing. And I'll see you guys in three minutes and hopefully it says yes. And then we'll know that the Target Up and Up brand is no different than the clear blue, saving us all a little money. That is if you have a Target. Sorry to, didn't they take Target away from Canada and Australia? I am so sorry. Why would they do that? Target is the best place on earth. Anyways, I digress. I'll be back with hopefully a yes. Ah, you guys! How exciting! Okay, so absolutely no difference between the clear blue pink digitals and the Target Up and Up brand. So, since I was so happy with these anyway, um, I'm going to be buying those from now on. Hopefully I will not need them. Fingers crossed, but let's say that I do, then I'm just going to stick with those from now on since they're significantly cheaper and work just the same. You just get a yes instead of a smiley face and I'm fine with a yes. <laughs> that means the same. So since I'm going to be using the Target up and up from now on, and I had one clear blue digital left. I just decided to use it because this handle is going to be dead. I've used it for two cycles. Uh, the cycle before last and last cycle. And I only had one cartridge left. So the handle was going to be going useless anyway. And I'm moving on to the Target Up and Up digital ovulation kit. So I decided to just do it for fun. It's still going. 
And you guys, I got another positive OPK on cycle day 13. That makes me so happy. So as long as my cycle is at the minimum 27 days, that means that I'll have a 13 day luteal phase, which as you guys probably know, you implant anywhere from six to 12 DPO. So that gives me a chance before before starting like the tea and stuff like that, I was having luteal phases that were 11 days, etc. And then there we go. So that's cool. Sorry, it just like looked down and see a smiley face. <laughs> that's perfect. So I haven't like I didn't even start a baseline with this handle at all. So that means that my positive is so good that it just automatically gave me a smiley face. So excited I don't even know what I was saying I was so happy anyways cycle before last you guys know that I started two days early making my luteal phase 11 days so if there was an embryo there was no chance there was a chance there's always a chance but the chances were significantly lower and before that I was getting my peak I think I got my peak around like cycle day 15 ovulated on cycle day 16 and then started on cycle day 27 so again a very short luteal phase but now the past two cycles i've been getting my positive opk on cycle day 13 and i'm so happy for hopefully hopefully i don't start till or hopefully i don't start at all but i'm just excited <laughs> like i can't even talk and I just feel really good about this cycle. I don't know what it is. Maybe because it's Father's Day and Marty really wants a daddy's girl. Like, and I'm going to be probably ovulating on Father's Day. Like, I think that that's really cool. And we've just been really mellow. I've just been taking better care of myself this cycle drinking plenty of water drinking the tea taking supplements making sure that i take vitamin c so that i feel better than usual i don't know and we've just kind of been going with the flow instead of doing like every other day or as much as possible we literally have only done when we feel like it and i think that that is important i don't know i just feel different this cycle i feel very just at peace with it like it was a clear clear cheapy opk i got a yes on the target up and up ovulation digital and I got a smiley face so positives all around hopefully we can take those positives with us into pregnancy test mode uh, like I said earlier that was my first live earlier and I was so scared but you guys made it so fun and I really really enjoyed it so let me know if that's something you guys want me to do more often definitely let me know what time zone you're in down below so that i can try and make the next one one where you can hopefully come and chat with me in real time because that was my favorite part like yeah answering comments i love to do that and then not everybody has instagram which if you do fields fam underscore vlogs I'll leave it over here somewhere um i love talking to you guys so i think a live was perfect because not everyone has instagram <sighs> so it was just really nice to be able to talk to you guys in real time where you don't have to like wait for me to get back to you and etc i hope that makes sense so definitely let me know your time zone down below and i will try to make the next one a bit more accommodating i know a lot yeah, it was like right smack dab in the middle of people's like nights earlier but thank you so much for jumping in just even if you were just saying hello also on top of the lives i really we really enjoyed things like our q a together so 
If you have any ideas, um, one of my friends earlier in the live suggested that we do the YouTube challenge where we let the person in front of us choose our order or we like order what they order if we don't want to talk to them because I have horrible anxiety. <laughs> but either or so I don't know that's kind of like really far from this channel it's obviously a TTC channel so I don't want to go like too outside of that because usually people that are on a TTC channel just want to know about TTC but I don't know there's room for fun while we wait right because now we're gonna have to wait <clears throat> until I have confirmed ovulation and then the countdown starts for the two week wait. So we've got some time to fill. So I wanna fill it with some lives and then any other suggestions that you guys might have because I hate the long stretches of not getting to talk to you guys because you guys are amazing. And let's get our BFP. That would be so amazing. A funny thing is, the day of my expected period is June 30th, which is Marty and I's eight year anniversary. So I'm trying to take all the signs that I can get. So ovulating on Father's Day, first day of missed period, hopefully missed period is June 30th, our eight year anniversary. So it's looking good. And whatever happens, I know I'll be okay. But for right now, I'm just feeling really good about it. And that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> so let's keep that positive attitude all the way through. And yeah, make sure you guys leave me your ideas and suggestions down below. If you want to see anything else from me. Or if you just want me to start doing lives a couple times a week. And sometimes when Marty's home, we can definitely do that. Or... I really want to do like some family vlogs, but I feel like those might be boring because I work from home with a two year old. So it's basically just me having the same day over and over again, being extremely tired, trying to work, but also trying to be like the best mom I can be. Hopefully we get a positive and then we do the pregnancy updates and then like the month by month baby updates. I'm really hoping that I can get into family vlogging and stay connected with you guys. And so you guys have been with me since most of you since the very beginning. So I think it would be really cool if we could continue that once baby is here. Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, please make sure you like and subscribe and hit the little bell so that YouTube lets you know when I post next. Hopefully, that's what it's supposed to do. Does it always do it? No, it does not, but let's try it. Let's just hit the bell. Let's just, let's just hit the bell. It might work sometimes, but sometimes is better than never, so like, subscribe, hit the bell. And whether you've been here for a few videos or right from the very beginning, I love you guys so, so much and I appreciate you guys more than you could ever, ever know. I have a good feeling. Do you guys have a good feeling? I just have, I don't know. I can't explain it. I just have a good feeling. I don't, I really can't explain it. I really can't. Let me know if you guys have a good feeling as well. <sighs> Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.